Hey everybody, Goldie here, and today we are taking a look at the newest zombie in WWE Champions, and we all kind of thought this was going to be the one, and uh, it is. It's Bianca Belair, E-S-T, in peace. Um, I had lobbied for the dead E-S-T, but... EST in peace, est in peace, kind of like rest in peace, a little Undertaker-ish. Um, that's okay, Furpo, six out of ten. Uh, she is giving major She-Hulk vibes. Which is fine. Which is fine. They basically took the striker, gave her green skin, and put a blade in the braid. Showing a little bit of the core, because y'all know she's strong. Uh, but model looks great. Zombified. Excellent job. And um, another thing I noticed looking at the model. Font. Fire. The bloody lips up here. Fire. Looks really good. So let's take a look at Bianca. She is a focused modern era trickster coachability we are continuing with the trend we've seen this month um so she is red gems twenty six thousand talent that is six star bronze moves and gems including trap gems countdown gems and juggernaut gems that generate red gems will create three more red gems and also increase kick out damage done by gems by 10 percent um, so this is another good void to be filled in the fact that Hall of Fame Lita is the red gem generation coach. And um, while she was in a Ruby market not so long ago, we don't really know if her license has been re-upped. Um, so this would be an excellent replacement, somebody that is available um, to be obtained. So love to see that. Similar like with Dominic is the um, Hall of Fame Sting equivalent. There's another person you can't get anymore. Um, so it's nice to see that getting filled in. Lynx, zombies, 20% more health. Again, not sure if we're getting a designated 2022 zombie link. Still haven't heard anything. Will inform accordingly. Modern era gems do 5% more damage and just the one standard set of gear. Um, so before I go into showing anything, I do want to point out that she comes with a plate. Um, Bianca's Braid Blade, whenever you make six or more X-Break gems, increase all of your gem damage by 100% for two turns. Um, I am not going to be showing this plate in this preview. I will have a second preview showcasing the plate and maybe some other um, not-so-common plates that we could use on Bianca. This is going to be as free-to-play as possible, um, but she does come with her own plate. And that is, uh, that's why they put a little, little knife in the braid. Clever. Um, all right. So I have, um, I have a couple moves that's going to show for you. Got a three star, four star and five star. First one we are going to do is available at three star. It is double purple with red two. So purple one, the spinning saw splash, 10 MP finisher, deal 274,042 damage, choose six X break gems to destroy and pin the opponent. Purple two, eight MP zombie attack submission, generate 15 random submission gems and do 125,497 damage for three turns. While submission gems are on the gem board, remaining submission gems turn into X break gems. And red 2 8 MP broken wings slam, deal 91,469 damage and choose six gems to make into purple gems. Entourage for this, we're going to use Butch for Red MP. We're bringing it in Showboat Wendy because why not? I'm still on the fence about if Slick Rick is technically free to play or not. Um, so I'm going to go with Showboat Wendy, boost her primary and secondary colors by 20% more damage. Santa Hogan for the flat 2200. 
and Hall of Fame Eddie for two extra purple gems. This will help because the um, the purple MP charge coach is a paywalled one. Uh, this will help if you don't have your tour perks quite yet. For the belt, we are going full theory. I don't have a plate equipped. You could use the what the rock is cooking plate. Um, whenever you break red, get purple. That is an option. And I don't have max tour perks yet. So this is going to be ready to go starting turn two. So we're going to have to do a defensive swipe at the beginning. But like I said, it's it's given She-Hulk. So um, let's see. Let's see how she does. It's given Z-Hulk. Let me crank this up a little bit. There we go. Um, so like I said, turn two, we're going to take a defensive swipe. And pray that she doesn't cascade into a yellow. Mm -hmm. Broken wing slam, choose eight to make into purple. We need two, three matches. Boop. We'll do that. And that. And let's do that. That should charge everything up. We're not going to cascade all the way. Okay, good. And then hit the submission. So 15 random gems for three turns. Now, you could use Hall of Fame Lawler as a coach. I, I maybe didn't pick the best opponent because we're also using the same three colors. So she's going to target all of our primary swipes as well. Um, but you could use Hall of Fame Lawler to reduce the submission by two. Um, so you're not using it to drain the MP. You're using it more to ensure you have enough X breaks out on the board. Uh, but then let's hit the finisher. Uh, 547,000 damage. I do have a tier four purple percent, but it's not quite leveled up. So it's about 100% right now. Could be higher at 133 or, of course, if you have a 200% medal that you can get from Stip Tours by, by doing Stip Tours for marquee tickets and then exchanging your marquee tickets for marquee tour stuff and getting marquee chips, going to the marquee shop and getting your tier five medals. And you're probably asking yourself, who's marquee? I don't know. Let's hit the finisher. It's about 547. We get to choose six to destroy. And they're all in a pretty good spot. We only have seven left, but that's going to, you know, you look when you're with your X breaks, when you're going to break some stuff, that's going to go into that, which is going to go into that. So we need to link that and that and that. Break one more for good measure. Board should go boom, should recycle fairly decently. Maybe even keep down. Yeah, 1.25 mil. With, again, free to play entourage. I will run that back with an all heart plate. Because that could be fun. But that is... He's zombie. That's a three-star build. Let's look at four-star. Four-star build brings in both of the yellow moves, and we're going to keep the finisher. Um, so yellow one, the back alley body drop, 7 MP, deal 84,561 damage, and choose a 2 by 3 area to make into trap gems. If broken by you... Deal zero damage and make seven random gems into X break gems. If broken by your opponent, deal 502,003 damage. The three is very important. Um, and yellow two, the full moon assault, seven MP, deal 84,743 damage and make six trap gems into purple gems. So lay down the traps, turn them purple, charge up the finisher, destroy six of the 42 x break gems on the board and board goes boom should be a turn one win um entourage for this again keeping it super simple kofi for yellow mp this will be turn one with my tour perks i have the plus two um gonna keep wendy boost the primary and secondary colors gonna keep santa gonna bring in showboat lacy to boost the purple 
keeping the belt intact, but I have brought in the It's Time Once Again plate. Whenever you break three or more purple gems, get three yellow move points at the end of your turn. This will ensure recycling if something goes wrong. And uh, I changed opponents because why not? Um, different primary colors, so hopefully that helps a little more. We do have an acro dodge risk, but whatever. Um, let's see how it goes. All right, so back alley body drop. Oh, that's the alley oop. Gotcha. I understand. Two by three, you want to go towards the top to kind of avoid risk of cascading. Famous last words, as this will probably screw me over horribly. Let's go here. And then full moon assault. All of these are going to turn purple. Very nice. 10 out of 10. And uh, X breaks, X breaks everywhere. And then um, hit the finisher, choose six to destroy. Dealer's choice in what y'all want to break. I feel like a kind of straight line in the middle is the way to go here. It should get the entire board. Boop. There it goes. One and a half million damage on turn one with absolutely nothing fancy. Works for me. Works for me. All right, let's test out some five star stuff. Five star move is purple three, the braid blade slash nine MP. Deal 114,006 damage plus 11,144 bonus damage for every X break gem. Uh, we're going to run this double red. So we're going to bring in red one, which we haven't seen yet. Um, the deadly EST spear for MP or the deadliest spear. Uh, deal 57,051 damage and make the bottom three rows into X break gems. Um, so I feel like this would be the most consistent, but you could also run the five star move with the double yellow. That would give you more trap gems. So we'll try both just to see. Um, Entourage, Entourage, Butch for red MP. I'm keeping Showboat Wendy, but I know a lot of you have built up Striker Honky Tonk Man. That would be the play. Um, I am not one of those people. I'm not one of those people. Um, but he'll give you 100%, so that would be the way to go. I do, however, have a zombie cane that I'm going to use instead for a mere 25%. And then Santa Hogan just for more gem damage. Keeping with the Fury. And uh, bringing in a Twilight Ritual plate. Whenever you break three or more red gems, make seven blue into purple at the end of your turn. Just for something a little different. Also available off the prize wall for the uh, skill plate medallions, so... And I just realized she don't got a belt. Do she got a belt? No. Well, no wonder we're smashing them. She got a belt. And we're at a class disadvantage. Buckle up, folks. It's like looking in a mirror. Um, okay. Well. We turn two. So let's just do that. Bunch of X breaks. Choose six gems to make into Poiple. Oh no, my red match. Wait. Ah, let's try this. This isn't gonna work. 
Oh, it worked! Oh my god! Okay. Uh, so, almost 14,000 bonus damage for every X break. This probably isn't going to be all that spectacular because... Holy shit! She just... Oh, okay. Okay. Competitive violence, that's why you're here! She just went and did that, huh? Jesus Christ! Um, okay, so I think the yellows would be better. <laughs> that was vicious! Does this mean we can get the Elkabong back? And the Trick Limb? Please, God. Sorry, I'm just kind of sitting here in stunned silence that they're just letting her... Letting her stab people with her hair. Let's watch this again, shall we? Damn! Damn! That's filthy! I love it! <laughs> So I'm already not a fan of the reds. Maybe if I had my Honky Tonk Man built up. But we're also going against somebody with a belt and a class advantage, so I'm not exactly expecting miracles. But we have been chipping away quite nicely. Do this again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm just gonna kind of put those there. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. There we go. That's a lot of purple. Let's, uh, let's stab her one more time. God. And, uh, we made it four match so we can go blap. That was decent. I think the yellows might be better, though. But, uh, that move animation with the, with the blade is just chef's kiss. Good job, Scopes. It's pretty damn good. All right, let's see how this goes with the yellows instead of the reds. So let's run this five-star move back, but I brought in both of the yellows, switched to um, Kofi instead of Butch, brought in a superior tech plate instead of the Twilight Ritual. Whenever you break three or more purple gems, make seven red into yellow at the end of your turn. That should hopefully help prevent her from getting that red move going um, too early. And we have a boatload of purple gems on the board, so this is probably gonna cascade. Because I'm not liking my my choices here in terms of where to put this. Whatever, YOLO. Oh, it didn't cascade, thank god, because the whole board would have been gone. Um, alright, so 42 X breaks now. I'm gonna do a, a back flip and then a braid flip. Frickin' ouch. Alright, so almost 600k, considering I don't have my honky-tonk man worked on, that ain't bad. 
And uh, let's do that. Blow up the entire board. Get a little bit of a cascade. Oh, you love to see it. Excellent plate choice, Goldie. Ah, thank you. So this should only be two move rotations instead of three. We don't even need to use this, really. Um, so we won't. Oh, we need to, actually. How else are we going to put the X breaks out? Duh. All right. Don't worry, I got this. Real talk. She's so freaking athletic. It's amazing. All right, do this again. So Striker Honky Tonk Man instead of Zombie Kane would put that at about 23,000 per. So definitely be making a difference. And then let's do the swipey swipes. The Cascady Gades. Oh yeah, look at all these. Look at all these yellow gems going out. Chef's Kiss. All right, yellow is better for me. For me. Not for everybody, but I liked that a lot more. All right. Those are the builds. Let's go ahead and theory craft a six star something or other. Shout out to the people that watch me on Twitch that tossed out that term today. Theory crafting. I like it. I'm stealing it. I thought of it by myself. Thank you all. Uh, let's go talk about the six star move. All right, so we've gone through a three star, a four star, and two five star builds, but let's take a look and see what she does at six star because the, the recent wave of six star superstars have been, I don't want to say game breaking, but possibly game changing in what their six star move does for them. And uh, Miss Bianca Belair, again, missed opportunity. At six star has a red move. Again, can we please get the MP cost here? That would be fantastic. Instead of having to wait for the portal um, when we're doing our previews, it would help us plan a little bit better. Uh, but it is a bite red three. Again, the numbers, this is the level one value, but at level one, the bleed does 60,000 damage. So I feel like this could scale insanely high um but it's deal x amount of damage and deal bleed damage to your opponent for two turns so again no idea on mp cost no idea how high this scales no idea how many turns it's going to be at end game uh, but that as a base is disgusting um so what you could do is mm, you could do the bite with the deadliest spear and the finisher. Mm. Or. Hmm. I don't. Is there a way to. Oh, well, you could do the. Uh, you could do sub bleed, actually. So you could do the zombie attack, the broken wing slam, and the bite. Double red MP trainers, depending on what this move cost is. Charge up your sub and then super sub them out and bleed them out at the same time. And then you're leaving behind X breaks, swipe and recycle. Could be good. Could be good. Uh, but that is our first look at Bianca Belair Est in peace or est in peace again she is a modern era focused trickster coach ability red gems so moves and gems that generate red gems will create three more move gems 
That is at 26,000 talent. I know it's a bit of a stretch to get there right now. Sometimes they do the, hey, if you pull the character this weekend, it only costs you one Emerald token, but you still need 20,000 shards of Big Show. Um, so if that's the case, Skyrocketer for the coach ability. Um, but two red gems at 17k and 10% kickout damage. Absolutely nothing to sneeze at. Still don't know if they're going to be adding a Zombies 2022 link to be determined. Uh, but that, again, is our first look. This is the free-to-play approved version. Stay tuned for my second video. I will be looking at the brand new skill plate for her. Let's just quickly go take a look. Probably going to cost an arm, a leg, and a braid. But this is the new skill plate that comes out whenever you make six or more X break gems. Increase all of your gem damage by 100% for two turns. Stay tuned for the run it back where I take a look at that and more with Miss Bianca Belair. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. Be sure to like, share with your friends, and subscribe so you're notified when my next gameplay video comes out. Thank you again for watching, and thank you for being a friend. Deep, 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 deep.